myself Vaibhav. I welcome all of you to today's session of Visual J Forex, in which we will be continuing our algorithm development work using the indicator Donkey and Channel. So let us get started. This is the Visual J Forex board developed by the Ducoscopy Bank SA. In the last session, the instrument subscription was carried out, where the default instrument is Euro USD. The position amount was defined at zero. And after that, these uh, donkey and channel blocks have been added with the time period of one hour. And uh, after this, we are also taking the help of get historical candle to look at the price volatility. To pinpoint the exact entry point, these 10 second candles will be used. And uh, since we don't have the middle band as the output in these blocks whereas if you plot the indicator on the jforex platform you will have the middle band and uh, we are uh, going to use these middle band line so we will need to calculate that independently and for that this uh, calculation expression block was added and uh, here one change will need to be done i will create a new variable and assign value 2 to it and then use that variable here so it will become a1 plus a2 and uh, after that it will be divided by a3 so this minor change needs to be done okay now we have the middle line the median line as uh, the output for this configuration the ship value is one okay now it's time for a refresher about the logic how we are going to use this indicator the logic is uh, quite simple we want to be getting involved for a buy trade when we have the formation of a higher high and higher low so for that we will be comparing the last hours output value for the donkey channels upper band the high and the low band <coughs> sorry with the values output values 24 hours back and only if we have the last hours high value and the low value higher compared to the values 24 hours back we will be getting involved for a new trade for any long trade so that's how this is uh, going to be used and uh, we want some correction to have happened and after correction whenever the price again starts to rise that is the moment that is the opportune time as per our configuration so we will need some correction i will explain to you with example and that can be this one i think yes it will work well we have here this is the output of the donkey channel higher compared to the values 24 hours back if we consider the high as well as low both these values are higher than what they were 24 hours back and uh, after that we have this collection and uh, this candle has gone on to close below the middle band and after that again it goes to close above it so these are the kind of uh, situation these are the kind of uh, entry points we will be targeting so as and when the last hour closing value is uh, higher compared to the middle band we will be start we will be starting to look for the entry points to get involved for the long trade and if you observe this time around it would have gone right but uh, not very far and again it comes back to go into a reverse mode it goes on to decline and again it uh, rises again it declines and then it rises so sometimes this kind of scenarios can play out and we have to be prepared for that but uh, for uh, avoiding this kind of situation we will need a, a complex formation which we will uh, deal with in the latter series 
In this series, we are simply making the sim simple configurations using the indicator, single indicator. So this kind of situation will be tackled while uh, this kind of situation will have to wait. So now again, let us go back to the Visual J Forex board. And as I explained to you, the configuration is going to be quite simple. So all we need is now to get uh, the blocks and start comparing these values. The last hour's high should be higher compared to the high 24 hours back. First input greater than second input. These are uh, These values are derived after applying the high price and same here the applied price is high price <coughs> and the low price will also need to be considered and in this case we will need a higher low again the last hour's low value should be higher compared to the low value 24 hours back first input greater than second input candle 18 candle 19 will now provide us the next step of the configuration we will need the penultimate hour to have closed below the middle band. So we have to compare the last hour's middle band value, which is here, mid 11, to the closing values of the last two hours. So this middle value will be used as the common input in both these conditions in both the blocks and this value will then be compared to the candle 18 and candle 19's closing values respectively candle 18 candle close needs to be higher so first input greater than second input and candle 19 candle close should have been lower So we have defined the first requirement that the formation should be of higher high and higher low. After that some correction should have happened and only when the price starts to rise again we will be looking to initiate the buy trade. And the order will be placed on the current market price. So all we need is the trade command block. Open at market. This should be first input less than second input. I will add multiple action first. Okay. And arrange these blocks on the lower side. 
we will leave some space so that if the need arises you will have enough space to add additional blocks for defining the conditions for the execution of the trade Now coming to the trade command block. Since we are uh, defining the condition with the uh, closing of the last hourly candle, one problem might arise that if there is uh, too much of volatility in any given hour and uh, we have this kind of scenario where we have sharp moves uh, multiple trades might get opened so as to avoid this we will add further requirements that uh, only when the price starts to rise above the last hourly candle close value that will be the time precise entry point so for that we need to compare the candle 18 candle close with the candle 19 and um, sorry the candle 20 and candle 21's closing values so we need two more if blocks candle 18 candle close will be the common value common variable which will be compared to candle 21 and candle 20 candle 20 has the look back period of 1 so this will need to be higher first input greater than second input and candle 21 which has a look back period of 2 it should have closed lower and I will disconnect this flow from here and arrange these blocks on the lower side candle 19 which has a look back period of 2 on the hourly time frame it should have closed lower than the middle value middle band output so with this the conditions have been defined regarding the Duncan channel formation of higher highs and higher lows and uh, due correction in between now we have to define the input parameters for this trade command block and uh, this time around we will be defining the stop loss and take profit in a dynamic manner depending on uh, what is the prevailing volatility we will be defining this so we will have to add a couple of calculation expression blocks prior to that uh, let us deal with these uh, input parameters for which no calculation needs to be done the default instrument is going to remain euro usd trade amount i will change to the 0.1 million slippage is going to be two pips now comes the question of stop loss and take profit as i said we will take the dynamic approach here so what we will do we will take the difference between the middle band and the lower band of last one hour and that will be our stop loss level and twice of that will be our take profit so quite simple all we need is to take the middle band and deduct the low price from that so for that we need 
calculation expression mid 11 and I will deduct the low of last one hour so this is going to be a1 minus a2 and the result of the calculation uh, we will name it as uh, SD now this is in uh, double data type we need to convert it convert it into to integer for that we will need to multiply it with 10 raised to the power 4 and this output value then will need to be multiplied by 2 to get the target price to be twice of the stop loss okay so here i will take this output value and multiply it with new indicate uh, new variable then this should be power 4 turns out 10,000 this is going to be a1 into a2 okay and this output value will need a variable variable is going to be defined here so as to make sure that it is of integer data type its start value will be derived from this calculation now we have the stop loss defined in a dynamic way take profit is going to be simply the twice of the stop loss and we already have a variable named df with the value of 2 so we need to simply take it and again carry out a1 into a2 and the result of the calculation will be our take profit level so with this the stop loss and take profit have been defined in a dynamic manner depending on the volatility in underlying instrument the stop loss and take profit will be different each time the trade is initiated and with this our setup for the execution of the buy trade is also ready with uh, six e blocks and one trade command block let me color code this line to see whether the trade flow is going through till the very end yes it is so i hope you have been able to understand the logical as well as the execution part of the algorithm and if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write to me in the feedback section so that's it from my side for today's session we will be back with the more in next session till then have a fabulous time ahead see you next time goodbye